Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. All right, this is going to be a total body workout by muscle group. So I'm gonna isolate some of these muscle groups and then we're gonna stay in that region for about four exercises each. It's gonna be a no repeat workout, but because we're staying in each muscle for four exercises, it'll be a little bit of progressive overload on each muscle group. So there's your list of muscle groups. I'm also gonna include the heart as a muscle group, right? We need to work the heart as well. So that's gonna be thrown in a few times just to kick the heart rate up. We'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. The format for the workout will be 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds in between. Grab the variety of dumbbells for the workout today. If you take a look below, that's the dumbbells that I'm using in this session. That's all you'll need. All right, are you ready to move daily? Me too, let's do it. All right, uh, traditional strength is on my watch here. Let's warm things up with some hip openers to start. Excellent. I like a nice workout by muscle group. It's, it's like four minutes of focused attention mm, right on that muscle. And when we get to things like arms, shoulders, biceps, triceps, you're gonna feel it. It's gonna be fire. But hey, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> It's true though, it's true. Oh, very good. Let's squat and reach overhead right here. Last one here and take it wide. Toes are out, open in the chest. Wide, we'll lunge and drop the opposite shoulder toward your knee. And reach across right here. and overreach. Let's go into some heel sweeps. All the way down, switching sides. Last here, good. Arms out, one hand behind the head, one behind the back, and alternating. Two more. And into shoulder circles, tap it out. Reverse direction. All right, and torso turn. Nice. All right, there's the first circuit. Four exercises per group. Here we go. We'll start with glutes, and we're gonna start with a three pulse squat. So I'm gonna hold 15s up on my shoulders. You're gonna pulse three times at the bottom, then push through your flat foot or heel and squeeze the glutes. So you're three, two, one, and stand.
I'm gonna hold 12s for my reverse lunge. And we're gonna stay on the same leg. So it'll be reverse lunge, high knee, until I call half. Then we'll switch, nice and tall. So you're low and knee right here. We'll keep tension on that single side glute until I call half. Last one on this side and switch your leg. Okay, suitcase squat to that reverse deadlift. All 20s, also known as the Monica. All right, starting with your suitcase squat, feet shoulder width, and we squat and hinge and stand. There you go. Squat, hips go up and stand. Last here, then down to the ground. I'm gonna take both these 20s down here for my glute thrust. I'm just gonna hold them here on my pelvis. Make sure you have a good grip. Feet are close to the bottom, and we pulse at the top. So you're up, pulse, and drop. Up, pulse, and drop. You could just have one dumbbell lying across your pelvis if you wish instead. I just wanted to make this 40 pounds though. Yes, it's kind of digging into my bone, <laughs> but it's fine. Doesn't hurt that bad. Squeeze at the top, let's go. We're gonna move into that cardio for the heart coming up. So get ready to stand. Nice. All right, make sure there's no weights in your way. We're gonna start off with two knees, two jacks. Low impact is there. Let's work. You're here, here, jacket here, here. Ice skater into a squat jump. All right, you can step, side step squat for low impact. Here we go. We jump and then double foot jump.
skip jack coming up. Little sip. Jack and skip is low impact. All right, climb the ladder. Coming up there for low impact. Whew. It's heating up, isn't it? Knees high. Here we go, and work. We're moving to shoulders. We're gonna hit a single double Arnold press. I'll hold 12s. Whew, good start. All right, knees are soft. Single, single, double. So we single, other side. Now double here. Don't arch your back. And don't look up at the dumbbells either. Keep your eyes facing front. I'm gonna grab my eights and move it into that single, single, double lateral raise now. Pumps into the ground. Roll your shoulders back and keep your core engaged here. Single, single, up, other side. Now together, here we go, and pop. Nice, single, single, double. All right, I did this earlier in the week, a supinated front press. I'm gonna hold 12s this round. Palms face the ceiling. You're alternating your press toward the ceiling. Elbow stays soft, okay? So you're all the way up and switch. Torso stays facing the front, no twisting. And slow on the descent. Very nice. So obviously you get a little bit of bicep recruitment with the palms facing up like this, but a nice amount of that anterior deltoid as well. Keep your core engaged.
and we'll go right into reverse flies and I'll hold these same weights. We're hinging forward at the waist. Make sure you're slowly bent over here. Arms are rounded like you're hugging a tree and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Here we go and we're up and squeeze slow. Don't bob your body. Ten more seconds, then we're gonna go into hamstrings, but I'll give you a nice little 30 second rest first. Grab water and grab your weights. Very good. Woo, good start, folks. I like it. Good. All right, hammies. I'll start with those 20s. Mm, and I'm just gonna do your classic deadlift. All right, feet shoulder width apart, feet face the front. Knees are soft, but hamstrings are long. Here we go. So you're slow. Two, three, and up. Long, uh, stiff, I guess I meant. <laughs> stiff leg deadlift where you just have that softness in your knee, but your legs are relatively straight, okay? It's not like a sumo deadlift where you have far more squat in it. This is straighter legs. Take it to the ground for that hamstring march next. Good, all right, make your way to the ground. Feet are as far away from your bottom as you can manage, and we're alternating that march, right, really firing up those hammies. Here we go, and we press to the ceiling. You can land on your heel, and I just hold the side of my mat to prevent myself from sliding. And then I'm driving hips to ceiling, thinking of those hamstrings here. We'll be standing in three, two, and one. Nice, into that single leg deadlift. I'll hold the 20, we're gonna do 45 seconds per leg. You could also do a kickstand deadlift if you don't want to balance. Here we go. We hinge, two, three, and up. Reaching hips back. So whatever foot I'm standing on, my opposite hand is holding, it's an iso. Lateral hold, whatever leg I'm using. Reach, 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 reach. Nice and stable and your hips are facing the ground the entire time. You don't wanna rotate up. Stay with me here. Very good, yeah, we needed the 45 per side. Okay, other side, knee is soft, reaching hip. Nice hinge pattern here. All right, ready and reach.
I'm gonna grab a 30 for my single dumbbell deadlift. Uh, 35, actually. Holding it in one hand, feet face the front, and a nice wide stance. Reach your hips back. So we slow, two, three, and pause. Drive and squeeze. Think about your hamstrings. You obviously have a little bit of glute in here as well. The mind is in the hamstrings, lengthening and then shortening. We hold them in that lengthened position and then we contract. Don't push your hips forward. into that heart again. We're gonna do a cross and front jack. Four exercises here, low impact is here. All right, otherwise, jump with me. In and out squat jump, quick sip. Low impact will just be here. Narrow and wide squat pulses. Otherwise jump, you're low and wide. Feet face the front. Side shuffle, low impact will be just a side walk. Okay. Whew. Heart rate's climbing, drop it low and shuffle. Three hop, frog squat. Three knees, frog for low impact. Three hops right here. Let's go. And drop.
little 30 second water break. We'll do chest and tricep down to the ground to start. Check out the weight amounts you need for chest and I'll meet you down there. I'm making my way down to the ground, 15s in tow, <laughs> and into that wide, narrow chest press. All right, on your back, start wide, turn and face at the top. Here we go, and we press and turn to the ground, turn and squeeze, good. Last one here, and flipping it over for your variable surface push-up. So one hand is on a surface, one hand is on the ground. You can modify from the knees. And hitting that push-up, I'll call halfway and we'll switch hands. Otherwise, pop it up and drop. One more here, and switch. Flipping back to your back for those chest flies. We're gonna do rounded arms. I'll hold 15s here. All right, hips are up into the bridge. Rounded arms over the chest and slow. Down, two, three, and squeeze at the top. This one's like you're hugging a big tree in that roundness of the arms, softness of the elbow there. Squeeze your chest at the top. seconds then we'll stand for our last chest go into a standing tricep and then we'll make our way back down to the ground for the rest of the tries all right going into that pec deck front press I'm just gonna go with five pound dumbbells because this is tough 90 degrees on the elbows and these are soft and we squeeze press over the chest good Moving into triceps. I'm gonna go with a 15. Oh, is that a, yeah. For my skull crushers. I'll probably rest halfway. This is a long time to do a skull crusher for. Up and over, knees are soft. Elbows close to the ears. Flex at the top.
All right, one more standing. We're just gonna do an overhead tricep extension. I'll hold a 10, single side, I'll call half. All right, up here, right to the back and press. Knees are soft, you're here and press and flex. Last one on this side. That was plenty. Switching quick and back and press. I'm making my way down to the ground with my 12s for that tricep press overhead extension, palms are facing, press to the ceiling, then back, ready and work, press it up, back of the elbow joint, up and down to the ground. All right, we're gonna finish off with the tape press, so palms face away. You're gonna come down to the chest, press and flex at the top. Little rest here for two seconds. All right, palms face away. I want you to keep those elbow, uh, those dumbbells really close at the top. So they're almost touching, not quite, but almost. So they're nice and close and elbows go wide at the bottom. All right, very good. We're gonna go into quads. I'm gonna elevate my heels here just to target quads more. If you don't have hex dumbbells or a weighted plate or something to elevate heels on, just front rack with feet flat on the ground. All right, I will hold 15s here for my front squat. Where are you? There, so heels are elevated. Rack it in the front and drop it low. Flex the quads at the top. Moving into your front lunge. I'll alternate here and I'll hold those 15s again. All right, nice and tall. Alternating legs, shoulders back.
All right, down into that bear position. Nice way to target those quads. I'm gonna do a lateral walk, bear crawl. Okay, stay hovered over the ground and walk. Now, opposite hand and foot move laterally at the same time. So one hand, one foot at the same time. Stay in that low hover position. Knees are bent in that bear position. Back is flat. Oh, that was hard. All right, seated, leg lift. Nice and tall, I'll go half here. A nice target for hip flexor as well as that quad. This one burns as well. Sit tall and pulse, and you're up and up. Quads in that flexed, flexed position for a good 22 seconds here. Feeling the fire now. Four, three, two, one. Switch legs and lift. All right, going into that renegade row from back. Focusing on back muscle now. Narrow row, plank position. Alternating sides, bum is down. Mod from the knees if you'd like. Otherwise, we row and to the hip. I'm grabbing eights for that layout dumbbell pullover. I wanna go lighter here and nice and slow. All right, we're gonna draw those knees in and lay everything out. So we're slow, two, three, two, three. Lay it out, draw it in. I'm touching the dumbbells together here. Obviously, ab as well as back is being activated. We're standing for that wide row. I'm gonna use my 15s again. Up to 90 degrees on the side, hinge forward at the waist. Here, up to 90, good. <clears throat> That's halfway, stretch your back if you need.
And I'll grab a 20 for my C sweep. I'm gonna prop myself up here. You can use your leg. We're pulling back, okay? Not straight up, but back. Hinge forward, I'll call half. Right back, creating the letter C, but not swinging at the bottom, all right? So our dumbbell creates that semicircle. Last one on this side, switch hands, back is flat, and lift. Moving to biceps. Holding 12s for my palms up, bicep curl. Whew. Elbows are in, palms face the ceiling, knees are soft. And curl right here. Stick your chest out. Very good. All right, moving to that 21s. Very itchy. Lower range of motion for seven, upper for seven and then full range for seven. Palms are up, hit lower for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, all the way to the top. Woo, fire, elbows in, down for seven, just a half, six, five, four, three, two, one, all the way up and down now, full range for seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, all right, into those pinwheel curls. I'm back, thumbs down. I'm gonna grab my 15s for that. Oh, it's fire on the biceps. Palms face the ceiling here, shoulders back, curl in front, and we're up. Switching sides, no swinging at the bottom, nice and controlled, and don't uh, allow that wrist to unlock. Keep it locked and neutral here. Very good. All right, let's go into that hammer curl. Arms back, thumbs down again. I think I'll go back to 12s. <sighs> Biceps are fire. All right, straight up and down, elbows close. Here we go.
All right, down to the ground. Abs is the last sequence, starting with that starfish. Low impact would be lying on your back and tapping the toe. Otherwise, sit it up and tap, switch and tap. All right, hip hop leg extension, hands under the bottom. We're gonna pop hips to ceiling and you can single leg or double leg extension there. Hip hop, leg extension, pop the hips and we're up here, bend and extend. Flip it over for your plank tap out. You can modify this from the knees, otherwise your elbows and toes, we're tapping, alternating hand, thumb is down, and tap right here. Tap out, hand out. Try not to rock the hips. Neck is neutral, just looking at the ground below you. And visit small package. That's our last. You can modify this with a toe touch and then small package here. Otherwise, we're coming up. Visit here, small package here. Last 15 seconds, folks. In three, two, one and done. You move daily in your total body by muscle group. Well done, everyone. Stay down here for a stretch with me. If you can, don't forget to smash the like button and leave a comment if you enjoyed today's workout. Let's go right into pigeon here. Down we go. Oh, good stretch right here. Sink into it. That's it. I'm gonna come all the way down here. Increase that stretch. You go to your own ability. You could always bend the knee here if that's not available to you to straighten it. How often are you folks stretching? How often are you working on mobility work? Hmm, functional exercises and stretching and training so that those ligaments and joints are available to you. That is the question. I just did a big deep stretch session for the members, switching sides here. And in it, I was just talking about this new program that I'm gonna have come out shortly. Uh, it's just basically kind of going through the body five days a week, 
and doing different elements of mobility, dynamic stretching, PNF stretching, dynamic neuromuscular stabilization flow. So it's all sort of those things that are necessary, but that are tedious sometimes to do, right? Or maybe you don't know what to do for each muscle group. Sometimes that's the case, let's go into a hamstring stretch. So the program is just gonna break it down for five days a week, maybe 30 minutes a day, and you're going through this sort of systematic flow to target specific areas in the body that tend to lose mobility as we age. Well, think about it, shoulders, hips, back, spine, <laughs> uh, ankles, right? I mean, that is so important that we have mobility and uh, flexibility in our ankle joint that we're able to do certain things. So one of the things that we're gonna do is just have you do little assessments on your own mobility to see if you can do certain actions. And if you can't, it probably need, means you need to work on them, right? Like one of them is you put your foot about a fist uh, length away from the wall and then you sort of lean forward with your knee. Is your knee able to touch the wall without your heel coming off the floor? So things like that, right? And if it's not, then it's like, whoa, I must, you know, that's not going to get better unless I practice it. It's only going to get progressively less mobile as we age because we, we lose elasticity, we lose our flexibility. We lose those things if we don't practice them and maintain our structure around them. So that's why I wanted to create it because I wanna do that for myself as I see parts are getting tight. Like I used to be able to very easily, let's just go into butterfly here, go against the back of a wall with my hands and shoulders and back and then slide up and down. And now this side comes off the wall. And that is a problem for me because again, not getting better, uh, you know, before it gets worse type of thing. So I really want to spend some time working on that so I don't lose that, that functionality. Um, that would not be good. Arms back, thumbs down. Let's tilt the neck to one side. I'm actually gonna reach back. Oh, that's good. Just kind of looking eyes up to the ceiling there. So that's the point is <laughs> that it's important to keep that flow going and also that if you don't practice those things, they don't get better on their own. It's not like you're gonna become more flexible as you age because that's just not the way it flows, right? We sort of tend to decrease in our ability as we age unless we're proactive and preventative and we do these things intentionally where we're maintaining at least that level of functionality that's required for good movement patterns so we don't get injured. So if we fall, we can catch ourselves. Our body has that proprioception that it's necessary in order to do those actions. That's what I wanna maintain as I age. So anyway, that's your encouragement today is to continue stretching and doing mobility work so that you too can keep that functionality. All right, thanks for joining. As always, go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition, and I'll see you in the next workout.